to my channel thank you for coming back if you are a returning subscriber god bless you for returning back here to support me watch my videos and just know that i don't take you for granted yes but if you're new here hello welcome to my channel please before you leave remember to subscribe and when you subscribe click on that notification bell you will find it down there so that you'll be the first one to be notified whenever i upload a new video you always enjoy every content that i upload i can promise you this guys <laughs> so dear friends sometimes ladies write me in the comment section here on youtube some of them follow me on instagram write me on my instagram dm to ask this question that it will be our today's video but most of the times i get a feeling like someone is you know choking me because <laughs> you come to find that the guy that is chatting with the lady is the one but the lady has got no idea and she's telling me bella give me more dating apps so that i can try my luck <laughs> oh my god i always feel so bad i feel like entering my phone and be next to the lady put some sense into her that girl the guy is the one waste no time stick to him <laughs> but i always try my best to advise them to the right path to stick to the guy so that is why i am here guys to help you all ladies that are on online dating apps or there in real life searching for the one and you have come across a guy there are some things that you see in this guy but you don't know if the guy is the one or not so in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you how to know if a guy you are chatting to or the guy you are dating right now is the one isn't it interesting guys i think it is and it's gonna be very very helpful for you guys who are searching for love on online dating apps or even in real life and guys you have no idea of how many relationships i have saved <laughs> oh my god last time there is a lady i was helping and then just a little thing happened she was dating a guy who is the one actually right now they are planning to get married but the lady almost left the guy because <laughs> she didn't know that he was the one but i talked to her i put some sense into her i make her reason <laughs> beyond her nose and she kept that relationship she's so so happy right now and i am happy too you know because if she's happy i am happy too i am here guys to make you happy find your happiness <laughs> <laughs> yes so without wasting much of your time let us jump into our video right now guys a disclaimer before i start this video it does not intend to break your relationships no guys this video is to help you shine your eyes <laughs> strengthen your relationship and if you're dating a guy right now the things that i'm going to be mentioning in today's video the guy does not have them i would advise you to end that relationship right away don't waste your time i told you every minute joins a new guy on online dating apps so there is no need for you to waste your time with a guy who isn't the one okay. so friends number one sign that will tell you a guy you're chatting to on online dating apps or it might be in real life is the one is openness this guy that you're chatting to should be open with you in everything guys no secrets so what openness am i talking about number one is if this guy is very open to talk with you about his family he doesn't hide anything about his family you have talked for quite some time and it is a good time for him to introduce you to his family he has done that without even you asking him to introduce you to his family that is a very very good thing it shows that the guy is serious and he might be the one guys because i've told you there are some guys who will be more interested to know your family to know your friends but when it comes to you 
to know his family he's like it is private just wait for some time i'm going to introduce you that means the guy is not serious so if this guy is open about his family you know that he might be the one because it is a good sign number two is work if the guy you're chatting to is very open to talk with you about the job he is doing without hiding anything, without telling you, I cannot tell you now the job that I'm doing, but just know that I am financially stable. I'll be able to take care of you. Do not buy that. He should be open with you to tell you the kind of job he does if this guy is really into you because that relationship does not end now this guy will have to marry you in the future so he has no reason to hide the kind of job that he does please dear beautiful ladies when you are on online dating apps i've told you stick to your original plan and everything that you do make sure you are on the safer side to ask a guy's work to know what job he does it helps you as a lady to know well about this guy yes because some guys might be into illegal business <laughs> and you don't know about that <laughs> he just tell you no i won't tell you about my job you just know that i am okay if it is money i've got money if it is the house i've got the house if it is the cars i've got the cars no don't buy it <laughs> number three about the openness is his health yes so if you're chatting to a guy and then a guy opens up about his health that is a very very good thing without you asking him but he tells you you know what i'm not healthy okay maybe i have got one two three healthy problem don't take it a bad way take it in a very very positive way because it feels really bad to date a guy for a year and then when you're about to get married or even after being married married you come to find out the guy has got healthy problems if you remember miri's story you know i always refer to miri's story because she came to find out that the guy was in a psychiatric hospital before but she found out after getting married she felt so so bad and it was the point of no return yes dear beautiful ladies so if a guy is open with you tells you about his healthy problems that means this guy wants you to accept him as he is and he gives you an opportunity to choose if you should stay with him or just leave him just because of his healthy condition but with that too you can see how risky it is and then decide but the fact that he is open with you to tell you that you just know the guy has got good intentions with you and he might be the one number three about the openness is about his past <laughs> this goes to all ladies that are dating or you are chatting to guys who have divorced divorced <laughs> <laughs> I've been telling you English is not our language but we try so the guy you're chatting to is divorced and this guy is open with you tells you everything tells you everything about his kids and some of them go to an extent they introduce you to the kids as their girlfriends and I've heard a case by the way this is the story coming soon a guy introduced a lady that he was chatting to to the ex-wife and the reason why he did that it's because he said in their culture the country he's coming from when you are divorced you are in good terms it's good to know whom you are dating because of the kids if you're going to marry this person it means the kids will be coming to your house and find that person there so they should know that person and be assured that the person is good so that they know the kids will be in good hands okay and also this guy told the lady that i have introduced you to my ex because the kids will be coming to visit me 
and we always talk so when they see me on the phone with you it will be very strange so that is good the mother gets to know about you and the kids get to know about you so if you are chatting with a guy and then he does that you just know the guy is the keeper the guy is the one not those guys when you ask about their past relationship experience they say it's private i'm not ready to talk <laughs> Oh my god, these guys can play a lot. Then he'll give you excuses. I can't talk with you because the kids are here this weekend. You see, why can't he introduce you to the kids? Why? If he really loves you, if those words that he has been telling you and you know your head is <laughs> there. <laughs> <laughs> in the moon over the moon <laughs> are true why can't he introduce you to the kids why should it be private when the kids are at home just know the guy is hiding something from you <laughs> yes and he is not serious so i think that helps you that was number one openness sign number two that will tell you if a guy you are chatting to on online dating apps or even in real life is the one is if this guy shows you unconditional love which surprises you and you're like wow i did not expect that but from the side of the guy he does not brag at all that i helped you or anything no he tells you i did that because you are my girlfriend i did that because i love you you are my future wife <laughs> When a guy does that, guys, don't always take them for granted. Please, please, just know that the guy is the one, he is the keeper. I've been noticing this not only with you ladies that are on online dating apps, but also with friends. A friend can do to you an action of love, something that is so, so good, but you take it for granted. <laughs> <laughs> and you'll be like ah, it's not a big deal i'm telling you that is when you lose friends and you ladies who are on online dating apps that is when you lose these men because you take them for granted you don't see the good things that they did out of love that unconditional love i want to give you an example a very real real example these things have been happening that is why i'm saying they are real so friends you find a lady is chatting with a guy on online dating apps and maybe this lady have got a very bad phone the phone is so so old <laughs> brings lots of problems they cannot even communicate very well and this lady is not asking for a phone from a guy but out of love this guy get that you know push to help this lady to buy a phone for her he buys a phone and sends the phone to this lady maybe she's in africa in the caribbean or maybe in jamaica <laughs> and then this lady gets the phone then keeps quiet doesn't say anything that i got the phone thank you so much doesn't show any excitement that i'm really happy you bought me a phone now i can talk to you freely you know that kind of words that you tell a guy and feel very encouraged feel happy for what he did no the lady goes quiet till when the guy asks, did you get the phone then she's like yes i got the phone thank you guys that means you're taking that guy for granted and the action that he did out of love you took it for granted like that you will lose that man so guys if you're chatting with a guy and he shows unconditional love to you learn to appreciate and keep that guy because he is the one sign number three that will show you if the guy you're chatting to on online dating apps or even in real life is the one is respect if this guy you're chatting to respects you when you communicate he always respects you he doesn't make stupid jokes he doesn't ask for weird weird things from you everything decent decent and respects you as a woman you know the guy is the keeper the guy might be the one guys yes because these days it is really really hard to find a guy whom you will chat for one month two months and he doesn't ask weird things 
he respects you completely it's a very very good sign also you keep on chatting with this guy and you see that even in decision making he always respects you you know that's so so good and it feels good to be respected as a human being and as a woman you find that there are some decisions you need to make he gives you respect and tells you, I want to hear from you. What do you think you know in that decision making? That shows respect and that means if that relationship really goes far, he will make a good husband. Trust me, dear beautiful ladies. So number three on this respect, <laughs> you are chatting to a guy, it has been really long and you are at that stage where you start talking of you know sex <laughs> which is normal i told you guys you are adults and you are not brothers and sisters <laughs> you are a couple so at some point you will have to talk about these things so when you start talking with this guy about love making the guy starts talking very weird weird things when it comes to love making making weird requests <laughs> i remember there is a lady who was dating a guy for quite some time to an extent this guy wanted to invite her in his country so before inviting her the girl watched my video where i talked of to ask men their sex fantasies which is a very important question so she went ahead and asked to her surprise guys she was so shocked and disappointed the guy told her that if i marry you if we get married your two holes are mine can you imagine can you imagine such kind of disrespect? How can you talk like that to a lady you expect to marry? This lady was like, no Bella, I am ending this relationship. I told her, yes, you should end it. Cause a guy who talks like that, that means he has no respect and he's gonna treat you like his sex object. Yes, be very, very careful when you talk to these guys. And for me, I've always loved those old fashioned guys. I'm not saying old guy, no, old fashioned. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. A guy that was brought up in that old fashioned way, a guy that respects a woman. And even if you talk about sex, he will still talk in a very decent way without exaggerating things without disrespecting you without making weird requests or strange requests to you when you see that you know the guy is the keeper stick to him don't go back to the dating apps <laughs> sign number four that will tell you if the guy is the one it can be on online dating apps or even in real life is acceptancy so you have been chatting with this guy you are dating and everything is really good you have accepted this guy we know we are not perfect as human beings <laughs> so you have accepted him as he is everything about him you tolerate lots of things about him and this guy does the same has accepted you as you are never blames you for anything never make you feel you're so small never make you feel like you're from a poor family never make you feel like you're uneducated nothing like that but has accepted you as you are and everything that comes with you if you have got kids he doesn't make it a big deal and be like no i cannot take you with kids you have got kids yes i could have married you yes our relationship could have worked but you have kids so it cannot work never accept such kind of a thing or start blaming yourself why did i make kids before <laughs> no that guy is not serious please it's not your fault so don't blame yourself at all all <laughs> but when a guy accepts you accepts your kids accepts your sisters accepts your family if you remember tanya's story the guy that she got accepted her whole family that means love that means the guy has accepted tanya as the whole you know and we want such kind of a guy when you see that in that guy 
please don't come to me and be like bella give me some more apps <laughs> i want to try my luck no girl stick to him and strengthen your relationship because he is the one so guys no matter you've got one kid two kids three kids if the guy is the one and you tell him i've got three kids he will tell you who cares <laughs> what matters i love you yes sign number five that will show you the guy you are chatting to on online dating apps or even in real life is the one is if this guy does not complicate things for you you are in a relationship and you feel at peace at peace guys yes challenges will be there <laughs> i can tell you you'll be in a relationship with a guy he is the one and no challenges i'm going to be a liar and i've been telling you guys i'm always honest with you right <laughs> so when you're dating a guy and you feel at peace he does not complicate things for you when it comes to meet because yes if you're chatting at some point you will have to meet to make your relationship real this guy tells you i want to come visit you but you come and be like no i want to be the one to visit you first he is not going to complicate the situation for you and start telling you no you know you cannot get the visa it's gonna be so complicated it's better i be the one to come first these are their stories <laughs> don't buy that but if the guy is real when you tell him no let me be the one to come and visit you first <laughs> and he's gonna take care of the costs then this guy tells you it's okay i am going to start preparing the documents for you to come you know the guy is the one because he doesn't want to complicate the situation for you he wants everything to go smoothly you know because he respects you you have got the right to make decisions too in that relationship not the guy that only wants to command everything should come only on his side and you'll be the one to follow never be that lady i am requesting you dear beautiful ladies yes voice up <laughs> i have another example there is a lady i was helping on online dating apps and she found the one and actually guys they got married so before getting married there was that thing of signing prenup agreement and the guy wanted the separation of properties <laughs> but the lady wanted the community of properties so the guy was like no let's sign the separation of properties everything will be good you, you keep your things i keep my things we are okay <laughs> even the guy's mother was supporting the son that they should convince the lady accept to sign the separation of properties so the lady was really determined she was like no i cannot come from africa leave everything behind come to a new continent and then sign the separation of properties <laughs> so she said no if you're not going to sign the community of properties we are going to end this there won't be any marriage she told me you know what bella if he refuses i am going to go back to the dating apps i will find another guy that will accept that <laughs> i was like no please talk you guys need to talk so she said okay sis we are going to talk but i am not going to change my mind and i will leave everything to god for now because it was approaching the time for them to get married <laughs> so do you know what this guy decided to do the guy told the lady i don't care who cares about that agreement i'm going to sign that community of properties that you want important we make a family i live with you forever we get old together <laughs> they got married that means this guy never wanted to complicate the situation for the lady and they came to an agreement they signed their community of properties everything went very well but it's because the guy was the one so when you see that in a guy a guy that makes things go smoothly for you in your relationship he is the one sign number six that will show you if the guy you're chatting to on online dating apps or even in real life is the one is communication we all know how important communication is 
when it comes to the relationship to add more you guys are in a long distance relationship so communication is more more important so you've been chatting with this guy he tells you he loves you so much he plans to marry you he plans to come and see you but when it comes to communication hmm he disappears yes a guy can disappear for a week or two weeks and then return with lots of excuses even recently there is a lady i was helping who was chatting with a guy and then this guy disappeared for two weeks when he came back he was like i was sick i never wanted to make you get worried that is why i kept quiet but seriously guys because when a guy keeps quiet he makes you more worried so him telling her that i didn't want to make you get worried that's a lie a very very big lie that you guys should never accept from a guy if he is sick he is the one he loves you he's gonna tell you that i'm not feeling well i feel really bad he will send you that text even if it is one text a day we understand he does not feel well but not disappearing <laughs> yes dear beautiful ladies so when you're chatting with a guy he is always there for you there is no day that passed without you guys communicating you know that the guy is the one but when you see a guy you're chatting to he disappears weekend he is not available at night he is not available holidays he is not available and comes with lots of excuses you know he is only wasting your time it's time to end that relationship because he is not the one sign number seven that will show you a guy you're chatting to on online dating apps or even in real life is the one actions <laughs> this guy wants to take your relationship to the next step and he shows you actions two months ago this guy told you that after two months i will start preparing documents to invite you and yes after two months you see him preparing the documents sending you the photos of the documents that he is preparing to invite you when you see that know that the guy is the one because he keeps his promises yes and he is the man of actions not the guy that only talks but when it comes to implement the things that he talked about he does not do that and when you ask him he might even get angry when you see that no the guy is not the one but this one that shows actions that takes your relationship to the next step not the relationship that is stagnant you are there you always talk the guy sends you good morning good night nothing more than that the relationship does not go further no next step better cut it off period don't waste your time the relationship should take steps forward yes every day your relationship should take steps forward yes dear beautiful ladies that is when you know that relationship is real and that guy is serious with you you can't just be dating a guy and when you ask him of the next steps the guy tells you i don't know or i am not a fortune teller i am not god <laughs> those are not the answers from the guy who is the one no something is wrong somewhere and you need to find out <laughs> he can't just be answering you like that i told you a guy should have clear plans i have started chatting you like me i like you we feel each other we vibe <laughs> <laughs> you should have next plans yes no excuse for that <laughs> sign number eight that will show you a guy you are dating you are chatting it can be on online dating apps or in real life is if this guy always confirms things for you without being asked <laughs> guys have been telling you confirm 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 but if you're dating a guy and then this guy then this guy always confirms things that you want to confirm a guy tells you example i am traveling for work and yes this guy will take photos yes he will make videos he will show you you know what i am here at work 
maybe in this country show you everything without you asking him can you send me photos so that you can confirm can you send me a video so that you can confirm no he does that without being asked when you see that please don't go to the dating apps don't come to me to ask for the best dating apps <laughs> so that you can try your luck no keep knowing that guy because he is the one sign number nine that will show you the guy is the one that guy you're chatting to on online dating apps the guy you are dating in real life is the one is if the guy is ready to take sacrifices for you i told you guys there is a video i did i was like want to be in an interracial relationship you should be ready to take risks and sacrifices so if this guy can take sacrifices for you that means he is the one don't take it for granted and be like no i should keep on searching for another guy no that really means a lot taking sacrifices in a relationship in marriage is very very important and when you find that in your partner it feels so so good it gives you some kind of security yes because you know you will count on that man for anything and forever yes guys if you remember there is a story i did of a lady who was disabled got married to a german guy who wasn't disabled the mother of the guy did not want the lady but because the guy loved the lady very much he took that sacrifice and was like you know what if it is losing my mother i'm ready to lose my mother but i'm going to marry you that is making sacrifices so if you find that in a guy you are chatting to please please don't come to me to ask for the best dating apps stick to that guy and i'm waiting for the wedding invitation <laughs> he is the one he is the keeper so dear friends i really hope you enjoyed this video you learned something if you did please give it a thumbs up share it with your friends family everyone that you think will enjoy this video and learn something watch my other videos too they are super good you've got a lot of things to learn from those videos comment below what you think about this video i would like to know i'll be so happy to read your comment <laughs> until next time guys if you have not subscribed what are you waiting for please join the family i love you so much guys you're always here in my heart ciao ciao